Hello, welcome to WP All Import video. We are using WP All Import plugin in order to perform the import. Here, note that this is a pro plugin. So you will have to purchase this plugin additionally. This plugin is used to import any post type, taxonomy data, and so on. Let's see how to use this plugin. We will perform cars inventory import. Since we are also having ACF fields for cars, we will use WP All Import, ACF add-on. This plugin will be used for mapping ACF fields with CSV data. This is also a pro plugin so you will have to purchase it additionally. See Cars Inventory page. Currently no cars available. Let's now go to WP All Import page from the sidebar menu. See here, three options are given for source file for import, file upload, download from URL and use an existing file. One feature of WP All Import is, using this option, you can provide URL and plugin will download and import files from external websites using given URL. In third option, this will provide list of previously uploaded files from which we can select any one for import. Let's use the first option. Upload CSV file. Select inventory from this drop down as we are doing import for vehicle inventory. See here, these many rows will be imported. See here, these are the data fetched from CSV file we uploaded. Now, move to next step. Here, we will make car title by dragging year, make and model attributes. Let me inform you that, WP All Import provides custom code and the function editor functionality by which you can use any PHP function as well as define own function and use them. You can use native functions or user defined function inside any text box of WP All Import, let's use str underscore replace function in title here. WP All Import has full support for custom fields and ACF fields. It can even auto detect the names of the fields used by your themes and plugins. If you already have posts on your site that have the fields you want to import to filled out, WP All Import will detect the fields. Next, map ACF fields. Select field groups from here for which we will import cars. See here, fields are added for which we have added field groups. Let's map these fields by dragging fields from here like this.
Map these cars data also. Next, map taxonomy fields. Here, note that, do not map taxonomy fields from ACF add-on, map car dealer taxonomy fields like, year, make, model, body style, mileage and so on from this taxonomy category tag section only. Move to next step. Here, as I have mentioned earlier, according to custom code and the function editor functionality, you can define your own functions here and can use them in the same manner as we have used str underscore replace function for title. Move to next step. Enter unique identifier. We are using WeIN number as unique identifier so add WeIN number here. See here, three options are given here for file import. The first option will insert data from CSV file which are not present in the database or in your site. Second will delete cars from your site which are not present in CSV file. And the last one will update existing data in site with the data in CSV file. Here, for this second option, more options are given in addition. Select these options based on your need. In this advanced options, options for how to process import are given. This option will split all records in the bunches of 20 records. You can set other options as per your need. Now click on continue. See here, import summary is given. Now click on this button. See, 
import process is started. See, log is displayed here. As you can see, import process is completed. See cars inventory page. See, data are imported. Let's check the car data for any one car from this list. See these attributes. Car images are also imported. See, all car fields are imported successfully. Move to import page again. See, these two options, first one is used to view log history and it will open log history page. Second one will open new page. Where you can manage this import like delete uploaded CSV file, re-import CSV data and so on. WP All Import plugin also provides feature of cron scheduling. Each time the cron is run, WP All Import will download your XML or CSV file from the specified URL and update, delete, and create posts on your site according to your settings. Now go to Manage Imports page to get the cron URLs to run. Click here on cron scheduling link. See. It is saying that, we will have to set URL option in first step of import settings. Let's enter URL here. Save settings. See, file is added for which we set link. Now click on cron scheduling. See, it is having two cron URLs, a trigger URL, and a processing URL. If you want to run your import every 24 hours, you should run the trigger URL every 24 hours. If you want to run your import once per week, you should run the trigger URL every week. The processing URL should be run every two minutes because it may not finish your import in one run. The reason is that many hosts have maximum script execution times in place, so it's only possible for the processing script to finish only a small percentage of your import before it is timed out. If this is the case and the processing script is run again after 2 minutes, it checks to see if your import is finished, or if there's still work to be done. If there's work to be done, it will import posts for as long as it can, or 2 minutes, whichever is longer. Then, on the next run of the processing script, it will see if more work needs to be done on the import and if so, it will do it. If not, it will untrigger the import. And now the processing script will have no effect, until the import is triggered again by the next run of the trigger script. Ask your web hosting provider to set up the cron for you. That's it for WP All Import video.